Alright, what's up guys? So, today I'm gonna make a video about the Plano uh, trip box that we carry. It's a top secret box that holds our Scottle 2800 with uh, vibranium legs and a sub cooking mode. So, you know, it's kind of top secret. So, let me show you what, you, what we got and what we usually carry for our trips. I really didn't think people cared about this box, but I got a lot of messages and a lot of DMs about. Like, hey, what's in the box? Like, what do you guys carry when you go on day trips? So, this is mostly our day trip box. When we go camping, it becomes our, like, cooking box. So, it's just stuff that we need to pull over, get some food, get something to eat, whether it's cooking it up or just something small to get us to where we need to be. So, yeah, there's a box. So, this is our Scottle 2800. Um, it works like a fucking champ. It's a Coleman Titan. Um, I think we got it at Walmart. Pretty cheap. Never let us down. It's a two burner. It runs off of these propane. What are they? 16 ounce, one pound propane tanks. We love these things. Uh, I usually carry two. I got one more back there that is about halfway done. So these two are full. So that's what we use to cook. As far as clean up, we have this little. 8.5 liter little bucket. It's collapsible. And another thing that I like about it is uh, it keeps Layla distracted. So we'll just fill it up with water, let her play with it. That way she won't get near the fire, or get near the stove. And then she helps us clean up, which is pretty awesome. So we have this, which goes with this. So it's just a little bag that we carry. It's a sponge and then some soap, which we got the most environment, environment friendly one that we could find. <coughs> So yeah, that's what we used to clean. Uh, we use corn oil for like something quick and then we also carry regular oil. We got this bottle at Target. It's supposed to be watertight and airtight, but I doubt it. So we have it in a Ziploc bag. So that's pretty cool. That's what we used to cook. Uh, we use these disposable plates and usually I just throw them in the trash room or I just, if they have a trash can, we'll dump them there. But for the most part, uh, we don't like using these. We like using this. It's a uh, Ozark Trail two person camp table setting set, I guess. So it comes with two plates, two cups, uh, two forks, two spoons, two knives. I can't find the other spoon, but whatever. And usually we use one of the cups as Layla's bowl, because I usually drink beer. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we just wash it with this. We just recently got this one. Our last one was cast iron. But it started rusting out. We never really took care of it. We never cured it. It was a little shitty one anyways. So now we're using this one. Uh, it's a Coleman, I wanna say 12? Yeah, 12 inch. So this is what we're gonna start using now. I wanna, I wanna try it out. I'll let you know how that is. Toilet paper. I can't tell you how many times we've gotten somewhere. There's no fucking toilet paper. A uh, little radio, AM, FM, just to listen to some tunes. And then it has an aux cable inlet so that way you can put your phone on um recently we just got an allspice thing but we can't find it so this is still in here this is cool but it's not it doesn't do well with moisture so now some of the ones like the garlic salt the paprika the cayenne they're kind of like have water in them now so they're a pain in the ass to get out but it's cool it's a multi-spice carrier it has garlic salt black pepper salt paprika curry gross cayenne, garlic salt, yeah. So it has other ones that you really need or you would usually use. <clears throat> then we have Layla's and mine sunblock and my wife's tanning block for oil. Then we use this little puppet fucking hot stuff grabber thing. Uh, aluminum foil. Tongs, a knife, my boy Rick got me this from Tahoe Adventures. Thank you. This thing's sharp as fuck. I love this thing. Can't go wrong with it. And then a lighter to start up the fire. So that's this little box. Oh, frisbee. Keep you entertained. Keep Layla entertained. Then we have a cutting board. And then we bought this little thing. I guess you put the meat and the vegetables on it and you just put it straight on the fire. Uh, I don't know. Can't wait to try it out. 
It'll be a lot easier to cook, a lot easier to clean. So we'll see. Then we carry, if you guys have babies or kids, you guys know the extra clothes is very important. So we have a tank top and then some shorts because Layla loves to get wet, she loves to get dirty and you know, I'm like, she's a kid, she's supposed to. So one of my main things is I want to say yes and more than I want to say no. So, you know, let her experience things, let her get dirty, let her have fun. She doesn't want to listen if the water's cold, she'll find out. But yeah, like, I don't know, we just let her do what she wants and for the most part she has fun. And that way, that's why we carry extra clothes, we got diapers, we got wipes, we got everything in here. This, for those stressful days of long driving, it's a pocket shot spice rum. Uh, this will give you two shots, so love this thing. Water, we carry six of these, just because you never know when you might get stuck somewhere or get somewhere and there is no water. At least we got some water. Uh, we carry a bag of forks, just in case we need forks. Like I said, wipes. And I carry this little bag of just like shit that we can eat really quick and get back on the road. So it's two tuna salads, they come with crackers and a little spoon, <clears throat> some baked beans. Uh, Layla loves peanut butter like I do. So some peanut butter cups, some chocolate pudding cups, more baked beans, more chocolate, and then these cheese and peanut butter cookies and then Oreos so it's just something to get us like if you don't feel like cooking we just want to pull over and get the fuck out of there or just get something to eat real quick and we don't want to spend any more money at these ridiculous stops <clears throat> we'll just grab that fill up our tummies and then get going so yeah for the most part this is everything that's in there or that we carry with us on our trips you know it's just basic We'll stop and get meat and all that stuff before we get somewhere, but at least we know that we have everything here to cook it. Like, it's nothing fancy. Like I said, like, we just carry what we need, not what we want to show off. That's our biggest thing. And then another thing that we usually carry always where we go is water shoes. A lot of people don't like water shoes because it looks stupid, but I'd rather look stupid than fuck up my feet. Like, you have no, you have no idea how slippery those rocks are, especially if you guys go to Kern River. Uh, it doesn't look scary at all. It looks fun and refreshing, but that shit's cold. And once you get, how do I explain it? The top seems fun and cool and like, hey, let me get in. But that bottom fucking draft is gonna take you. And every every year that we go, you just see the sign and the death toll gets higher and higher. And it's, most of the time, it's a lot of people that slip. And with freezing water, you panic and you slip, you're fucking done, you're gone. So. We carry water shoes, we try to stay somewhere where it's safe, but for the most part, that and it fucking sucks to step on something sharp, like, oh my god, it's like, I think, I think sharp, sharp lake rocks are worse than Legos. Go try it, let me know. So yeah, this is what we carry, uh, just basic shit, shit that we need, nothing fancy, no scottle here, sorry. That shit to me. If I want to get a Scotto, I know where to go. I know the right person to build one. Uh, my boy Rick has one. He built it himself. I think it works ten times better than fucking what, however much they're going for these days. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah. So this is what we carry for the most part. Everything we need just to get the fuck out and not have to carry a fucking fridge and all that shit. Like to me, I don't know. Don't need it. I'm not gonna say anything more, but I don't need it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Short video. Uh, thank you for everybody that asked for this. Whatever you guys wanna see, let me know. We'll do a video about it. We just got home from the Santa Monica Aquarium. I'll probably throw that into this video too. Layla woke up wanting to see sharks again, so we wanted to go see sharks. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends. Um, this channel isn't growing as fast as I would like it to, but it's all right, you know. I don't have all the Toyota fanboys that everybody else has and yeah I just I'm myself and a lot of people don't like that and too bad I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you so thanks for watching stay tuned I have some more videos coming we have uh, probably either Lido Creek or Kern next weekend just because it'll be hot as fuck and then we still have Yosemite on the books we just gotta keep on pushing it back because I gotta wait to be able to request days off and they had a major ass flood.
so we gotta work around that. And the campsites, they're always gonna be booked, so I'll probably, I don't know. We'll probably still make that drive up there. I'll take a few shots when we, once we get there so you can calm down and that way we can look for those first come first serve campsites and just get one and stick to it. But yeah, thanks for watching. We got more things coming. Uh, stay tuned. Um, yeah, enjoy.